What's up everybody, it's Aparicio. Today, I wanted to show you how to use the glow effect in DaVinci Resolve to enhance your footage and not break your footage, right? I think a lot of you need to see this, know the ins and outs before you go and dive into it, but it's nothing crazy. With that being said, let's get right into it. Here's our clip. Uh, I didn't really grade it, I just kind of corrected it. And I did my color space transform. If you don't know how to do that, uh, there's a video for it on the top right, right now. After I did my color space transform, I just corrected it. I played with my primaries, my curves, and my balance, my white balance. I added some windows here, some parallel nodes. And then now with this node here, we're going to add the glow effect. Let's do this. So just go up here to effects, just type in glow. All right, boom, it already added something to our image, as you can see. We'll turn it off and on, and it's already making that glow. Shine threshold, pretty straightforward. How much is it affecting the image? If we put it all the way up, as you can see, it's barely affecting our image. I say you keep it, if you wanna, if you're going more for a film look, you know, this glow effect can be used to emulate film. It can be used to give more of an artistic feel to the image. It can create like a dreamy look in the image. We'll be kind of artistic with the look I'm going for, but to emulate film, you're just gonna be less exaggerative. Pretty much do what I do, but a little bit less of it. And I'll show you how to do that in the end. So shine threshold, I'm gonna leave it around the middle and then the spread, all right? But if you look here at the main source of light, if you go all the way to the right, it kind of feels more natural, right? But if you go all the way to the left, it's barely visible. But if you start to creep up, you can see, oh, it starts to get crazy when you're over here in the first tenth of uh, the spread. But then you can go all the way up and create that nice smooth spread. HV ratio is the horizontal or vertical ratio, as you can see. So to see the horizontal ratio more, you can come up here and put that shine threshold up and you can see the lines kind of being horizontal over the, uh, the image. I kind of like to lean more towards the horizontal. I'm going I'm to go almost all the way. And then the relative spread, uh, red, blue, and green is just, you're just adding red, blue, or green to the white in your, in your highlights. See that? It's good for lightsabers. No, this is, this is helpful if you want to add warmth. If you want to cool it, you can cool it. It can be useful right now. I don't care for it. Uh, gain, obviously, you're uh, adding gain to your highlight. The gamma is kind of affecting more of the spread instead of the light source itself. That's more of what it's doing and it's increasing the saturation. So let's say I wanted the gamma up and I'm like, that's a little, that's a little too saturated for me. I go to saturation, pull it all the way back. I'd be like, all right, I'm good now. And if you pull the saturation all the way back, we can no longer uh, affect the saturation with our with our tools above. So that can be useful if you need it. So saturation is at zero, cool. And then something else that's super important, obviously the opacity, how much of it is visible in the shot. Um, bright region recovery. So we can kind of bring detail back in our highlights by putting this up. And then global blend, always useful. I always take my uh, effect all the way down and then I just creep up try to find my sweet spot. I think about 75% is my sweet spot. And then as you can see, we created kind of a cool look. I'm gonna blend it more. Um, if you wanna emulate film, I suggest you put the spread more up and shine threshold more up just so it's not so in your face. And it creates that nice roll off for um, a film emulation. This is a key part of emulating film or creating a dream, dreamlike feel, artistic feel. So with that being said, thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. I hope so, bye.